Round one. We're going to play first. Yeah, this is a keep. Pretty tough to mulligan a hand like this. I do wish we, you know, had a bit more of an aggressive turn progression, but this is definitely a satisfactory hand. All right. Opponent has joined us. We are good to go. Hey, there he is. I'm playing the Skeleton here, even though it's got good synergy with the Lightning Axe, because you can pretty much just keep swinging with Skeleton, and it doesn't matter if it dies, right? What's your two drops there? Moreland Drifter? All right, I don't think he's going to block my Skeleton anyway, so I'm just going to swing here. I don't want to play the Tooth Collector first because then he's clearly not going to block, but I'm pretty sure he's not blocking here anyway. It'd be really... This is, like, beautiful for us. This is the ideal block. We much preferred him blocking there than not because now we get to kill the Moreland Drifter, which is great. We also get to bring back Skeleton to our hand, so we still have Lightning Axe discard, even though we already have the Fiery Temper. Hermit of the Natternals. That guy's a pretty big deal. Guy is kind of a big deal. Let's see if we get a land here. So, options. We can... I guess play Duelist. This flips to a 3-5. I still can kill it with Axe. We're going to go Duelist. It's time to push through a bunch of damage. And the thing is, if we just pass this turn what I can do is upkeep return skeleton lightning axe it before transform that way even if he has a buff spell he's not going to be able to save it ooh duskwatch recruiter is pretty good though definitely going to have to kill that so I think we're just going to go Axe Temper. All right. Well, sure glad I got those removal spells out of the way. Sheesh. Mentor. Yeah, Mentor is pretty awesome here. Ah, the Dire Swine. Well, we're a land away from that becoming a slightly less big deal. All right, I guess we just swing with Duelist here. Hmm. I 
So I can do Senseless Rage on Mentor. And then his blocks become much worse. If I do it on this, he has to double block to kill it. So I could do it on the Duelist Swing with both. He blocks there, he can block there, he can double block here and take four. I'm not sure what's better. I guess his blocks get worse like this. Because then he has to double block and kill. Although he has to double block and kill this too, doesn't he? All right, let's split it up then. Either way, he has to double block and kill. This just makes it so I have two kind of annoying creatures to deal with. I'm going to sandbag the land. Um, I actually want to flip my Forge Master, so we're not going to bring back this. Well, I mean, we're going to bring back the Skeleton, but we can do that whenever. I guess since he's at one, maybe bringing back the skeleton would have. All right, I guess it doesn't matter. But if I had brought back the skeleton and played it, I would have had two threats to his one life. Perhaps that would have been better. Opponent's deck looks really good, by the way. <laughs> really good looking deck from our opponent. Like, Recruiter's insane. Hermit's insane. Partisan synergistic. Puncturing light's going to be a problem. Dire Swine, I mean, it's going to be a problem. It's cold. His deck looks really good. This is certainly not going to be an easy match. Um, didn't see any removal from our opponent, which might make, like, Spiteful Motives better. Or did we see removal? Puncturing Light. Like, Spiteful Motives is... We have a couple cards, actually, that are pretty good against uh, perf uh, the Puncturing Light. The Rage, the Rush. Pump spells are going to be good against that um chasm still seems like a plan maybe we just keep it the same i mean it certainly worked i don't know what i would bring spiteful motives in for Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to keep all my creatures, too, you know? All right, let's, let's do it again. Yeah, this is a good hand. <laughs> I mean, we're going to be ditching a lot of stuff. We have, like, all of the discard. Trying to think what I'm... I guess I'm discarding Duelist. I could actually discard a second Pale Rider. But I think we want to get dudes out there as soon as possible. A little ASAP action here. Forge Master. Not bad. Not bad. If I play the Forge Master, I don't have to discard to Pale Rider yet either, which is kind of nice. Forge Master does not deal as much damage as... Pale Rider, but it also doesn't make me discard. Like, if I can get to four mana, I can go Pale Rider, Senseless Rage. We're going to go Forge Master.
Okay, land number three. So, kind of want to go Pale Rider, discarding Pale Rider here. I think that's the best play. The duelist still seems like it's probably pretty useful. Digging for Hermit, Cathar, Purge. But you can't take that, so you can only take the taking the Cathar, which is fine. So we can play the duelist. Uh, other options are swing team. He could double block the neonate. Like I can, he can double block neonate. I kill a mob. I get in for eight. I think that's probably good enough. Let's get the, the duelist out here. Like, he can eat my Neonate, I guess, but that's all right. Oh, wait, I forgot to attack with Duelist. What a mistake. Very costly mistake, too. All right. Man, why did I do that? Hmm. I'm trying to think what's the bigger priority to kill. Probably the unruly mob, because leaving up four mana is not necessarily easy for him. All right. Despite my mistake, my opponent got frustrated and decided he'd had enough. Um, there was still, well, okay, we, we were gonna, we were probably gonna win. Uh, despite my mistake, opponent should have been at eight. He would have gone to two had I attacked correctly, but he was gonna lose the mob. He was gonna lose the wolf. He would have been left with Cathar. We would have had a buff dude, two more dudes. We were gonna draw land into skeleton, into profit to find our chasm. And once we found our chasm, we were definitely gonna win. But, uh, yeah, still should have attacked with Duelist, obviously. So, thankfully, that mistake did not come back to bite me this game. But at least our deck performed well. Deck performed as well as I needed it to. Because, like I said, our opponent's deck was good. I have no issues with what my opponent showed me. I think we just beat a very solid uh, green-white creature deck. Green-white humans. Really solid looking. So... Just just a very excellent victory for us there. All right, we'll see you round two.